Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland. This is a short relaxation session just for you. Please only listen to this or if you're watching on YouTube only watch when you can safely close your eyes as this may cause drowsiness but it doesn't have to if you don't want it to bearing in mind this is a short relaxation session it's about giving yourself the opportunity to just reduce your anxiety to allow yourself to feel more relaxed in a quite a short time in fact this could be a technique that you can use when you're sitting on a train obviously not when you're driving a train but when you're sitting with your eyes closed maybe at break time at work unless you sit in a crane uh, you know as long as you're in a safe situation then you can do this and to be fair you don't necessarily have to have your eyes closed I just find it easier to do that so these are going to be I don't know how regular they're going to be, but I thought it'd be quite handy. Having dealt, I say dealt, but having tried to deal as best as I could with extreme anxiety and panic attacks in the past. As probably extreme as they can get, I imagine. Uh, not that it's a contest, but it, you know, it transformed my life. Um, not necessarily all in a bad way because I did learn to meditate uh, in order to try and help myself I focused more on self-hypnosis and mindfulness And uh, I did learn how to cope in, you know, uh, more than I than I was. So I don't know if I should call these short anxiety reduction techniques. I don't know. Anyway, this is the number, this is number one. Each one will probably last maybe 10 minutes. So, what I'll probably do is give you some of the techniques that I have used myself over the years and then be even more creative and start creating and inventing some new ones. And, uh, also looking for other stuff, you know, online or in books, you know, to see what's about something that I can adapt. So short anxiety reduction. Number one. Here's something that you can do where let's say you're working or you're at home and you're able to just go for a walk you don't have to go outside you can walk at home from one room to the next from one side of the room to the other side of the room and this is a combination of 
walking meditation and uh, triggering, you know, setting up a trigger in the bottoms of your feet. Well, not setting up a trigger, but just having that stimulation, which is already there, because the bottoms of your feet are one of the most uh, nerve-filled parts of your body one of the one of them and so every time you step on your feet stand up you're pushing on these nerves and stimulating so of course only do this technique if you're happy or able physically able to do it uh, I know not everybody is okay with their feet so just do what is okay for you and if this isn't right for you just press stop and you can go to the next one because I'm not going to be focusing on feet I don't have a foot fetish you know there will be lots of different uh, techniques so what I would say is, for this one, we're going to do a bit of hypno walking or anxiety reduction walking. And all this involves, and it doesn't involve having your eyes closed, because if you're walking down the street, you need your eyes open. It's not about losing all awareness so you still need to be aware still need to make sure you're aware of the traffic other pedestrians uh, you've got to make sure that you're still on the pavement or the sidewalk you don't want to be ending up walking in the middle of the road so you need to be alert but at the same time you're changing your focus so that probably more of your attention is going onto the bottoms of your feet just the sensations so the majority of your attention so the more you do it, it it probably starts off where most of your attention is probably going to be on the anxiety let's be honest let's not you know play around here let's be honest that's going to be the focus then your focus will be also then on me, focusing on this, focusing on, oh, okay, maybe give that a go. And you can test this out whilst listening to me, maybe test it out at home, walking from one side of the room to the other. But the best test is to actually do it outside if you can, and do it for maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes, however long you choose to. It can be just like a two minute walk, it can have a tremendous positive impact. So, all it is is about focus. And as you focus on your feet, with each step you take, you focus on your feet the bottoms of your feet, the movement of your feet, in fact, the movement of your body as you walk. You're still aware of the temperature of you know where you are, still aware if it's windy, still aware of you know faint sounds, still aware of the traffic or pedestrians, but a lot of your awareness increasingly becomes the bottoms of your feet and the more attention you give to the bottoms of your feet the less attention you give to those things that you were thinking about and those physical feelings that were there because I'm very well aware that anxiety isn't just about thoughts it isn't just about what you're emotionally feeling it's about what you're physically feeling in that moment so what this does is it 
transfers your attention to the sensations of your feet, the movement of your feet, the nerve endings of your feet being stimulated in a relaxing way, sending those calm messages to your mind and your nervous system. which changes how you feel very quickly, very naturally. And this is a natural thing. There's no hocus pocus. This is just natural physiology. I'll do the hocus pocus tomorrow. Sounds like a dance, doesn't it? We do the hocus pocus. So just focusing on the bottoms of your feet and we can test this out test it out where you are now with your eyes open you can do it while you listen to me you can just turn the tape off the tape what century are we in you can turn the mp3 you know pause it and just walk gently from one side of the room to the other Ideally, without any shoes on, just you know, so you can feel the feelings of your feet underneath the carpet, but make sure there's no pieces of Lego or anything on the floor first. But do it with shoes on if you choose. And you get to the end, the other side of the wall, you know, room. I don't know how big your room is. You might have got there 10 minutes ago. I've, had, I've lived in rooms that were so small that when I actually went inside, I disappeared. We might live in a massive room that's the size of a, of a football stadium, so... Perhaps we won't do the entire length. I'm not sure if we could take the entire length right now. It's nice to ease in. What I noticed, I do like to notice things, is the more you do this, it gets to the point even annoyingly so sometimes where your attention automatically goes to your feet even now when I walk I can't help but do walking meditation where I can feel my feet movement against the pavement against the floor I can feel the bottoms of my feet my ankles moving, the toes bending. Uh, and it's not just the feet, it's, you know, everything connected, the legs, the, the knees, my hips. I kind of get the feeling, get more in touch with the whole body, even when I don't want to. When I say I don't want to, I don't mean I'm sitting there with a placard saying, I won't get in touch with my body, I'm ignoring it. I don't want to know. It's not like I'm on a demonstrating against it, but it just happens naturally. So mindfulness, relaxation happens naturally. And I think that's quite an amazing thing. So this is the first one. So what should we call this? Should we call this walking? Walking hypnosis, walking. I mean, it is technically kind of walking meditation, but I'd like to give it a name that means it's as if I created it and I invented it and makes me a hero. So, walking 
anxiety reduction. Back in 2003, 2002, late 2002, early 2003, I was probably at the peak of my stress issues, anxiety. And I was working in a call centre. And what I did, every lunch, what well, break time, lunch time, I used to go for a walk. Uh, used to eat a banana I don't know if the banana is really relevant but and I go for a walk very very slowly just walk around the block around the building outside getting myself away from the situation but at the same time while I was away from the situation I wasn't thinking about the situation. I was very much focusing just on my feet, which naturally created a sense of calmness and relaxation. So that's it for today this is number one short anxiety reduction it's not a very romantic name is it anyway I'll see you speak to you next time bye